مرحبا اوكي ناو وي وونت تو هاف ون اكزامبل اون هاو وي كان فايند هاو تو اكسبريس ذا جي سي دي اوف تو انتجرز از ا لينير كومبينيشنز اوف ذيس انتجرز ريمبر ان ذا ليس ان ذا ليس سيشن وي هاد فيو اكزامبلز بات ذي وير ايزي تو فايند اند ناو وي وونت تو يوز ذا يوكليديان الجوريثم to obtain the linear combination of the GCD okay so this is an example and what is the example it says express the GCD of the integers 252 and 198 as a linear combination of 252 and 198 okay so first we need to find the GCD and express it as a linear combination okay remember we know that we can do this by Bezout's theorem we know by Bezout's theorem that the greatest common divisor of two integers is a linear combination of the two integers so step one apply the Euclidean algorithm apply the Euclidean algorithm to find the GCD remember okay what is the Euclidean algorithm it's a successive application of the division algorithm okay so let's start by dividing the larger number by the smaller number we see that 252 is we need to find Q and R the quotient and the divisor Okay, so we see we want to divide it by 198. We see that Q is 1 and R is 54. Okay. Next, we divide 198 by 54. Right, we divide the dividend by, sorry, the divisor by the remainder of the previous step. And here we see that Q is 3 and the remainder must be less than 54, it is 36. Okay, next we divide the divisor of the previous of step 2. So let, let's call the steps. This is step 1 and this is step 2. Now in step 3 we divide the divisor of step 2, which is 54, by the remainder of step 2, which is 36 and this here we see you we need 136 and the remainder will be 80 so we've we are done in step 3 when do we stop when we get a remainder of 0 so now we divide 36 by 18 and here we see we need two steps of length 18 and the remainder will be 0 and here we stop And what will be the GCD? It is the last non-zero remainder. Okay, so we've seen this before. So this means the GCD of 252 and 198 is 80. So 18 is a common divisor and it's the greatest common divisor. Now, what we need to do is to write 18 So we need to, now we need to find S and T such that 18 is equal to S times 252 plus T times 198. So what is S and what is T? S and T are integers, okay? So how do we find S and T? We will work these steps in the reverse direction, backwards, okay? So we will work starting with the step before the last. So we start from here and then we work from step 3 to step 2 and then from step 2 to step 1. Let me elaborate. So from step 3 we write 18 as a linear combination of 54 and 36. Okay, so from step 3, so from step 3 we see that 18 is equal, look, to 54 minus 36. 54 minus 
36. Now we move to step 2. From step 2, we see that 36 is equal to 198 minus 3 times 54. Okay, so here is 54 minus what was 36. 36 was 198 minus 3 times 54. Okay, this is from step 2. Right, check step 2. It's 36 is 198 minus 3 times 54. Now we do some algebraic manipulation. So this means that here we have 54 minus 198 and minus the minus is plus 3 copies of 54. Okay, which means that here I have negative 198 and one copy of 54 plus three copies of 54 is plus four copies of 54. Or if, if you look at 54 as x, then here we have x plus three x, which is four x. And now we use, so here we use step two, here we use step three to write 54. Look here, 54 is equal, this is fr from step one is equal to 252 minus 198 198 okay so now sorry so this should be step one so from step one and now we use another color so here 100 neg i will leave this negative 198 plus four times and now we use step one to write 54 as 252 minus 198 okay now let's simplify this so this is negative 198 plus four copies of 252 and then four times negative one is negative four times 198 now imagine 198 as y then we have negative y negative 4y which means negative 5y so here i have 4 times 252 negative 5 times 198 and i think we are done now right so so this means that so 18, the greatest common divisor is equal to 4 times 252 minus, or if you want, plus negative 5 times 198. Okay, so this is this shows that 18 is a linear combination of the two integers. The greatest, so the greatest common divisor of 252 and 198 is equal to 4 okay, times 252 plus negative 5 times 198 and this shows that the greatest common divisor is a linear combination of the two integers and we are done